Hello and welcome to Penguin TV. It is recorded by George Eflis, a.k.a. Wiffy Penguin, and you can follow me on Twitter at Wiffy Penguin. Penguin TV is hosted by PureMTGO.com and sponsored by MTGOTraders.com. Get an 8% discount off all orders over $50 when paying with PayPal or credit card. And you can check out KeepYourGames.com and get an extra 20% off when trading paper for digital. Enjoy the videos. Hello everybody, welcome to a Urza's Saga Draft. Um, so we've got a pack here in front of us. It's got some some pretty good cards in it. Uh, Arc Lightning is really good. Pegasus Charger is pretty good. Uh, Hermetic Study is really good. Steam Blast is really good. And I'm going to go with this rare. No, actually I might not go with this rare. It's not as good as I thought it was originally. I think I'm going to slam this Arc Lightning. Alright, so for pack two, we've got a Shower of Sparks, Sanctum Custodian, which I like a lot. Uh, Befowl, which I also like a lot. <coughs> There's a Cave Tiger, which is okay. I think it's between the Sanctum Custodian and the Befowl. And I think I want to go with Befowl. What do we got for pick three? Energy Field is a cool little rare. Don't think it's worth anything, though. We are going to take the Viachino Runner. Um, Falter is pretty good, but it's not good this early. Uh, and it doesn't look like our deck list will be, at least not from the first two picks, will be set up to take advantage of it. Uh, Monk Realist is pretty good, but I'm not going to go into white when there's a perfectly good Viachino runner on the table. So, yeah, we'll take the runner. And this pack is a little light. We've got a second. It cycles. It gets rid of utility guys. Um, this, this will be our pick. Uh, Skittering Scourge is good. Skittering Scourge is good. So is Urza's Armor. Hmm. A 2-2 two, two or 3-2 Flyer for 2. Or something that combos perfectly with uh, Pestilence. Which we won't see. We, we would have seen a Pestilence by now if we were going to see it. Um... I think I like the Urza's armor here. Oh, man. No, I'll take the Skittering Scourge. There's always a chance that the armor could come back. So it looks like our deck is going to be black-red, since those are the only colors we've picked. Um, I like the removal that we have so far. And what do we get? Exhum. Blood Vassal, what does Lotus Blossom do? It 
it does stuff, but it's so super slow. I guess we'll take another sick in here. <coughs> oh, this is starting to look like my uh, Magic 2012 draft, where I drafted 13 removal spells and 5 creatures. Split the draft, but that's besides the point. Here we will take... Oh, look at this guy. He's so good. I guess we'll take the Bog Raiders here. We need a Duder. There's sure to be more Black Drafters. We're not, uh, we're not married to this red, either. I'd like to splash it, because these two are good picks. Or at least Arc Lightning is good enough to splash. Here we will take a dress. And here we will take another Bog Raiders. Why not? Ugh. So what are we looking for in pack two? We're looking for some uh, G2 Fire Slingers, some Parches, some really expensive cards to sell. I'll take this Foil Curfew. Why not? Never know when I might need it for classic. Unfortunately, when we rarity sort, it's all commons. Alright, so we got the falter back. Um, is it better than a 2-2 that can't block? It might be. Well, this guy might be good if we can just remove everything from the table. And the Urza's armor did come back. I don't think we're going to play it. Our deck does not seem to be a very controlling deck. And for pack two, what do we have in store? Weather Seed Tree Folk. This card is really good. Like, really good. Oh, man. Um, alright, so if I weren't going to pick the Tree Folk, I'd probably pick the Simeon Spirit Guides or the Phyrexian Broodlings. Um, I'm going to take it. Never know what, what, what might happen. Oh, look, there's a Ranker. There's a ranker. 
Um, wow, that, that definitely is a ranker. I'm going to take the ranker. Hide this falter. And I might hide this runner and play ranker weather seed. So we've got some black cards, we've got A or a pair of red cards, a pair of green guys. Alright, followed up by not very good black cards, but some pretty decent green ones. I'm going to take this big fat guy. The fat is fat. And I think I'm going to hide this runner. So, I would also probably hide this Bog Raider, at least one of them, if not both. Here we will take the SWAT. SWAT seems pretty good. my Granger. I like Treetop Village, and I like Fog of Gnats, but I really like Ramping a lot more. Man, this Weather Seed Tree Folk is just really good. And it looks like we'll get to play him after picking no green cards in pack one. Alright, so what do we have? I wonder if Cloud of Fairies is still worth some money. Unearth seems alright, though. I, yeah, I think I'll pick Unearth. It cycles. I think it might be worth a ticket or something. And it could get back my Granger, or my Skittering Scourge, or I guess a Bog Raiders. Ugh. Just finished uh, building a standard Tempered Steel deck over this way. Um, found, a four, found a couple of 4 -O lists that looked pretty similar, and just uh, built it up. See how see how that does in the queues. Um, here we will take a second on Earth. Two has got to be better than one, right?
not, I'm not entirely happy with how this draft is going. I've seen worse. I do have a lot of cycling cards, though. Jeez. Four, five. This guy doesn't cycle, but he does get me a land. Let's hide the Bog Raiders for now. I'd really rather not play them. We need to pick up a bunch of dudes. Like, a lot. Zville. We need a lot Zville of dudes. And here, the Broodling is the pick. I could take Lava Axe, but I'd rather not. Um, here I will take a value rare. Why not? It's probably only worth a quarter, but it's 25 cents more than anything else is in the pack. Um, we're going to hate draft a cessation. Because that card is pretty good. Um... Weather Seed Elf. Crop Rotation. I think Crop Rotation might be worth uh, about a quarter. And is that a rare? No, it's an uncommon. Silk Net. And Repopulate. Silk Net is a combat trick. It's not the best combat trick. But it is a trick. Hey, Replenish. I seem to believe that you are worth a couple of tickets. Alright, Replenish is worth uh, almost nine bucks. If he were not in the pack, Fodder Cannon would definitely be the pick. Followed closely by Yavamaya uh, Elder or Chime of Night. But an almost $9 card, we're going to take it. And uh, we get a pretty much top shelf removal or Yavamaya Elder. With the double unearths that we have, I think I'm going to take the Elder. Let's get rid of this silk net. I'm not a big fan of that. Let's get rid of this duress. Oh, let's get rid of this harmonic convergence. And there we go. We've got 16 cards with... We've got a couple of cards that we can play if we end up being short on playables. Hopefully with a whole pack in front of us we won't be short on playables though. There's a Senna Nightshade. I'll take it this time. We still need some more Duders, though. Is that supposed to be Radiant Archangel? I don't think it is. Just some kind of paladin. So we've got uh, a couple of Sickens, we've got some Unearths. Unearth with the Elder could be pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, what do we got? Twisted Experiment is kind of removal. Soul Feast is a little bit of a smash your face kind of finisher. Disease Carrier. I'm a big fan of Disease Carriers. Um, and it's a 4-drop, which we don't have a lot of. 
dying whale is it's okay. I think though that I will pick up on the uh, disease carriers. It's a guy and it's removal and it's a four drop. Here we have a skittering horror, junk diver, twisted experiment. Skittering horror can get there. He seems like he might be the pick. Twisted experiment is also not too shabby, but I think I'd rather have the horror. Here we will pick, oh, Heart Warden, perfect. And, oh, one of my favorite cards in the format, Compost. Um, I'm definitely one of the black drafters at the table. I cannot be the only one, though, because black is probably the best color in Urza's block. Um, so Compost for my sideboard, and hopefully we will get to play it. Oh boy, do we want the Braidwood Sextant, or do we want the Lurking Jackals? I think I might want the Lurking Jackals. And here we will take... Uh, none of these cards are going to make the main deck. We'll take the Taunting Elf. <clears throat> and immediately hide it. So Live the Dream would be uh, play of my Elder, sack it for two lands and a card, and then unearth it, and then sack it for two lands and a card. Ending up with a uh, six for two. <laughs> um, splinter for the sideboard, sure. Compost is for the sideboard. So we're at 21 spells with 11, 12 guys. And here we will take the giant Goliath beetle. Three one trample. Oh boy. Um let's see. Dying whale or a garbage rare. I love value. Garbage rare it is. Ah, exile Thran Foundry, draw a card. No, you don't draw a card. Card seems terrible. We'll take another terrible card. A 
Oh, and Colos Yearling to round out the draft. Sweet! Alright, so what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Um, alright, we'll throw in the dress, we'll throw in the beetles. Hmm. One slot left. I think that here we will try and play... Oh man. Compost? No, we're not gonna main deck compost. Bob oh, the Arc Lightning. I forgot. There we go. Add lands. Suggest. Alright, uh we are definitely going to go eight eight. Done. Submit.